Hey, what's up guys? So today's video is going to be about uh, should I enroll the Udacity front-end nano degree? So I've been getting this question quite a lot here in this channel that people ask me like um, what should I do before enro enrolling this, uh, this course and um, Will this help me get a job and something? So let me just like make this clear is like If you guys are trying to enroll in this uh, nano degree to get this certificate and you think the certificate will get you a job <laughs> You are like really really wrong because this certificate I, I, I Can I can tell you is like is useless the certificate by itself because I've asked, so I, I live in the UK, Manchester, yeah? Maybe in, in the US is more popular, but I've asked so many people, in, even in interviews in other companies, that I ask them like, do you know Udacity? Do, um, because I have a degree on it. And everybody says no. And not even one company asked me for my certificate uh, of uh, Udacity. So, as you can see, and if you ask even to your friends and everyone, there is still a lot of people that uh, uh, they don't know about Udacity. So, <laughs> the only purpose of the certificate is to hang on your wall. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's it. There is no other use for it. So, if you guys are thinking about um, enrolling in this nano degree, and uh, to, to finish as fast as you can because you can finish this in one month if you want to because you can finish the, pro the projects uh, in one month if you can so you just pay one month but if you guys are rushing to get the certificate to get a job <laughs> is really really a bad idea because uh, like I said the certificate is, is, is useless is not gonna help you get a job and the main purpose why you should enroll in this nano degree is uh, is to get experience and to learn about web development because I, I can tell you is like uh, you're gonna is the actual projects that you do on this nano degree that you, what you learn in them that will help you get a job you will do I, I think is about six projects or something and in my situation was one of them that helped me get my first job as a front web developer. It was a project about um, uh, the, a site speed optimization, like to try to get the site to, to, to load faster and uh, everything. So yeah, it was one of these projects that helped me get my first job. So um, yeah, is uh, like I said, so um, you, when you enroll, I, I would advise you to take at least like three, four months. Just learn, learn what, what do they have in there, and um, you, you. Every time you submit a project, you will have mentors that they will revise your your code and will tell you this is wrong, what you can do better, and will tell you you can optimize these lines of code with a, a for loop, for example, or something. So they will teach you how to be a better developer. So this is why you are paying them for, not for the certificate. So <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, this is one of the things. And another thing is, what, what should you know before um, before you enroll in this um, in this nano degree? Is like you should know. I mean, they teach you everything, but you should know at least HTML, CSS, and the last project, I remember it was one project about a map, it was like some kind of Google Maps or something. It requires a lot of JavaScript knowledge. So, before enrolling in this uh, nano degree, I would advise you to really learn a lot about JavaScript. Even though they teach you, but I, I don't think they teach that well JavaScript, so you, you should learn JavaScript and jQuery, of course. And um, I would watch all the free free classes that they have, because all the, all the classes that you're going to watch on this nano degree are the same that you can watch for free if you go to their website right now. So 
you, you need to watch all, even though if you have the knowledge, you are required to watch all of the videos to, to go through the, um, the, the course to finish. And um, yeah, so this is, uh, th there was also someone that uh, was asking me if, um, if you need any kind of uh, school certificate or something to enroll, you don't need anything to enroll, you just uh, need to, to, to pay for it and that's it. So, I guess that's it guys, so um, if you have any other question, just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll catch you in the next video.